What's going on people, it's Jess and today me and Serena are going on a bit of a trek actually. We are in the beautiful Dartmoor National Park and um, yeah we are with Serena's family on our little family holiday and we are going to try, we're going to try and see the Milky Way if we can because apparently it's a dark sky here which means that there's not a lot of light pollution and um, we can hopefully get some pictures of the Milky Way or some really nice stars. Hopefully, if it's not too cloudy. Unfortunately, it is looking a little bit cloudy, but it might open up. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoy. having some lunch first before we go on our little trek and we've got a little spread of uh, make your own sandwich kind of thing is this not the creepiest thing ever look at this that is super creepy I do not like that what why would you even make something like that can you imagine walking through here at night and just like seeing in the distance that would that not scare the living shit out of you? Because that is just... Nope. Nope. If I saw that, I'll be walking the other way. Mm -mm. And just like creepily looking out into, granted, a very beautiful view. But nope, we've started the trek. And this is the trekking crew. It's Serena and Dad. So this here is a kennel that was built by Lord Exmouth to house his pack of dogs. That's a pretty fancy dog house. Isn't it, Squish? Huh? It's a pretty fancy dog house. Wow, that's cool. This is an old sawmill. <laughs> so we are making our way to England's highest waterfall. Okay, so we have finally made it up the uh, massive trek um, up to the top of the waterfall and I will give you a, uh, a look at what our view is. It's quite incredible, loving the sound of the uh, water and everything, but are you ready for this? Check this out. And, I don't know if you can see, but that is where we started and that where, that's where Nan and Grandad is at the moment, just uh, relaxing. And also, look, it's a fairy. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> this is the tightest road I have ever driven down. And do you know what the worst part is? This is a two-way system. So if a car comes back this way, 
We are screwed. I am so scared right now. Like, if someone comes down this corner, we're gonna have an accident. This right. is the way mum and dad came. Is it? Look at that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna climb over this and we'll come up here. We have gone on another journey, and this other journey is to the um, what's this place called again? Uh, uh Kenick Reservoir, I think it's called Kenick Reservoir, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the drive here was a bit sketchy, it's so quiet here, all you can hear are just like ducks and geese and birds and bugs and stuff but take a look at this view so we're thinking we want to try and walk along there we don't know how to get there um, this is another reservoir here but this reservoir has uh, has dried up unfortunately so um, can't really do anything about that. So I think we're gonna try find a way to get ourselves across onto there and uh, have a little wonder down there. So we have found a place to camp out and have a few cakes and stuff and like little snacks. Um, it's so quiet here. It's weird, like, just so quiet. Um, and you can see, uh, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's the sounds of the cows. Um, and yeah, it's lovely. We might even sit here, watch the sunset, and uh, try and get pictures of the stars. So, it's a bit windy right now, apologise for that, but um, we've been on the lookout to try and find a, uh, a dark night to get pictures of the, um, the, what's it called, the stars and everything like that, and a nice sunset, and we've arrived at somewhere that's absolutely, it's just magical. Honestly, this is just gorgeous. So yeah, have a look at this. Useful it is. So I'm editing the second leg of the travel, the little vacation thing that we're going on. And at this point, we are on the Dartmoor National Park, a place called Bell Tor Car Park, and it's voted one of the um, darkest skies to get the greatest and best pictures of the uh, stars and all that kind of stuff in sort of the south of England. Now, I didn't actually film much uh, after this point, only because I couldn't see anything. It was pitch black, my camera couldn't pick up anything. Um, literally, your, if you had your hand this far out in front of your face, you won't be able to see it. It was pitch black and absolutely dead silent. What we did do though, is bring up the DSLR and we took some photos with a long exposure and, wow, well, it was just, yeah. It was, it was insane. Literally, you step out the car and look up at the sky and you can just see the Milky Way streaking all the way across the sky. Like, so many stars, you can't, you can't even, I can't even explain it to you. Shooting stars, everything, everything. It was absolutely incredible. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. And instead, I'm just going to finish this video here. And I'm going to finish it with the pictures that we took of the Milky Way. I hope you enjoy it. Peace.